Hey everybody, welcome to another Terraria video now. You might be saying, what is this game? <laughs> I haven't played it in months on this channel. Maybe close to years. Uh, but recently, I kind of just jumped back into it with a couple friends, and I'll tell you about that later. But first, uh, as usual, let's go through the changes, because there has been a lot of changes since uh, last episode. So... Like normal, this never changes on a gravestone. Let's see what's up. So, I found the truffle. If you guys know about the last episodes, you know that for the past maybe five or six, I've been trying to find that stupid truffle. And I've built even giant, like, mushroom biomes to get it. And mushroom biome here. It never came. But it's finally here for some apparent reason. So, whatever. We got the truffle. I got all the trophies, redid the armor collection, redid the mushroom biome, added a basement, and redid boss masks. So, let's just kind of go through them. This basement uh, was not here last episode. I made it for more space. Easy as that. And so, we did the bo boss mask trophies and armor collection, so you could see right here. Uh, you might not notice a difference, but there is. The boss masks, they're all here. We had up until here last episode what I did is I put them every single one in order and now this is the complete collection I actually did complete the boss trophy collection so it's kinda cool to look at I moved my armor collection from up there to down here and I made it more organized because I realized that there's like a lot of armor sets and that little little space wouldn't do enough so I made like I dedicated this entire thing for armor and you could see that there are gaps in the armor because I went like on the Terraria wiki and I looked at all the armors. So they're all completely in order from like the best to the worst throughout the game. And yeah, so you could see all of them that are filled in, those are done. All of them that are missing are armors that I still need to collect. And we have about a half. So that's kind of what I've been working on throughout these like months and days is just getting all this armor together. And we have a good amount. And then banners are still here like usual and i redid the costumes here uh, or uh, the boss mask too so we have also every single boss mask i'm pretty sure it does look like we have every single one here so that's kind of cool and then uh, i still might need to expand the costume but yeah so most of the stuff that i did was pretty much kind of decorative now what do i have in here i don't have anything okay so we didn't get any new items but yeah, so it's kind of the update on the world, which is kind of cool. Uh, a lot of collecting and stuff. I don't think there's anything new on the world map, except it's cool to look at, because, wow, I explored all of this. That's nuts. But now, time for kind of the thing that I was planning this episode. Now, this episode might be a little bit short, because there's not much to do, but uh, this is kind of an update, more of an update video, partly. But here's what I'm going to be talking about. So, like I said, I haven't played for so long, but... About a week ago, or when this episode comes out, maybe about a month ago, uh, me and my friends, like five or six of us, we were playing Counter-Strike or League of Legends, either one, I forgot which one. And all of a sudden we got bored, we got salty, so we were like, hey, what's a game that we could all play together? And then one of us shouted, hey, Terraria, which I don't want to be that guy, but I think it was me, I think. But it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, one of us was like, hey, we should play Terraria. And then all of a sudden, all my friends was like, yeah, I'll host a server. Let's get it. So the next half an hour, we booted up Terraria and we started playing. Now, here's the thing. This world is a normal world. The world that we made there is an expert mode. So it does have some different items, which we're going to look at. And I'll kind of give you like a world tour of the server. Now, no one plays on it because we actually did beat it. Um, we played for one week almost and this is going to sound really sad but we played about six to seven hours a day so that week is just kind of gone but we played that much and we got the entire thing done we beat we beat the moon lord and everything in expert mode with a bunch of my friends which is kind of cool uh so yeah let's I'll, I'll just do this live here let's save and get out of this world so if we go to single player we're going to use my character david and then if we go down here this is the expert mode world right here so this is the world this is okay well it's a new character so i can't really show you the map that i've explored but we can kind of go through so each of us made our own room so down here is kind of like the community chest and it's very messy i mean with six of us it's hard to keep everything organized i think this is i don't know whose room this is maybe just be a random room but i know this okay now i'm forgetting of course when i start recording so 
I'll kind of tell you each room and my friend's name. So this is Malachi's room, which you guys don't know of him, honestly. Uh, the slime over here is Hunter's room. Uh, over here is Thomas's room. Uh, my room is this big cloud one here. I think this is kind of just like where we kept the animals. Now, there's Quissy, and I forgot which one his room was. And I might be forgetting some others, which if I do, I'm sorry. You're probably not watching the video anyway. But yeah, it's kind of hard to remember. But yeah, each of us kind of got a room, which was kind of cool. And we have our NPCs over here. And then we have, like, the subsidian farm. Yeah. But the main reason I wanted to come here was to kind of show off some of the expert mode items that you don't get normally. And, yeah, this stuff is empty. But, okay, so here it is. So I kind of just go through each of them and kind of play around with them. So the mechanical cart, mechanical battery piece, mechanical wagon piece, if you combine those three together, you get the mechanical, or whoops, uh, you get the mechanical cart. This cart is just super, super fast, but you can only get these three from the three mechanical bosses in expert mode. And I guess we'll grab that so we can kind of see how fast it really is. Actually, I don't even know if we have a like a railway so we might not but it just just know it goes really fast and it's used as a strategy to beat a lot of bosses to kind of cheese them out with that and here is one of the developer sets that i forgot which one i got what boss i got it from but essentially it's just a vanity item but from the it's like a developer and there's like 10 of these from different developers i got lean fours hopefully i said that right and uh, we can put it on real quick just to kind of show it off, maybe. Let's do this. Take the creeper outfit off. Just like that. So you can kind of see. It looks pretty cool. And actually, I forgot one thing. Let's put it on, of course, the most important. Yeah, and this is the wings. Which is, look, it's a pretty cool set. I'm not going to lie. It is a pretty cool set. And once again, you can only obtain this in expert mode. I want to make sure I don't delete them by accident. Uh, oh, okay. I was like, oh, please tell me I didn't delete that. So, yeah, let's put this stuff back because I've had this creeper stuff on for so long. At this point, I don't want to change it. It is too precious. Okay, and now here's some of the items that we can get from uh, the bosses in expert mode. And if you guys don't know in expert mode, each boss drops a special bag that doesn't happen in normal mode. They contain just normal items, but they can contain some expert mode items. Now, there's about, I think, 12 or something. I have like 8 or 10 of them here. So this isn't all of them, but this is almost... A, I'm only missing 3. The Demon Heart, the Bone Glove, and the Worm something. The one from the Eater of Worlds, but it's okay. I'm not going to bother farming them now so let's kind of go through each of these items and see what is up with them uh so the shield of cthulhu um let's put that there you can just kind of dash with it uh i'm pretty sure if you dash at the right time you can cancel some of the enemies like damage on you which is kind of cool and also just kind of looks cool on you that's pretty much the gist of it Give, gets you some defense and yeah, uh, early game and expert mode helps you with movement speed, which is really nice. The hive pack increases strength of friendly bees, so this is also an accessory. So what that pretty much does is there's like the bee guns in this game. Let's see if I can find one real quick. But yeah, you guys know that in this game there are guns. Uh, wasp gun. Let's try this one out. Yeah, so you can kind of shoot. I don't know if actually this is right. It might be right, but... Uh, yeah, you just shoot bees, and that will increase the strength of the bees. Uh, the gravity globe allows a holder to reverse gravity. I actually have not played with this one, so let's try this one out. So you hold up. Oh, so it literally just lets you reverse gravity, which is... I'm not going to lie, that is kind of cool. It's like the gravity potion, but you don't need the gravity potion. So let's take this off before I accidentally keep... Switching the gravity, so that item is kind of cool. Probably very, very useful to get around, especially before a lot of the bosses. Except, that. pretty sure it's from the Moon Lord, so it actually doesn't help you early game. But the shiny stone greatly increases life regen when not moving, so that's pretty much explanatory. If you have it equipped and you're standing still, life regen is really good. Uh, the spore sack summons spores over time that will damage enemies. Pretty self-explanatory over time. It spawns spores. Uh, shrimpy attracts which flourishes in water in combat. 
pretty sure that is the mount, right? So this is a special mount. And it's kind of like the UFO. Oh, here, let me get out. But it's from Expert Mode Duke Fishron. So it's pretty much just like the UFO, except that it's a bit slower. But yeah, it's just Duke Fishron, or like baby Duke Fishron that you could ride. And this is probably one of my favorite things from Expert Mode, personally. Just because I think Duke Fishron is my favorite boss, in my opinion. Or is the best boss, in my opinion. Let's place that back. It's probably, again, it's again one of the coolest items. The Brain of Confusion. This one you get from the Brain of Cthulhu. Make confused nearby enemies after being struck. Self-explanatory. Uh, if something hits you, it could get confused. And we got two more items. The Armored Royal Gel. This is another... No, okay, my bad. Slimes become friendly. So yeah, slimes don't attack you. I don't know why I thought it was a mount. I'm thinking of the slime mount, which is... Pretty sure not expert mode. And last one, suspicious looking tentacle calls upon a suspicious looking eye to provide light. For practical purposes, this is probably the best item in expert mode, just for utility. You, uh, The Wisp is known as kind of the best pet because it provides light. But if you beat the Moon Lord in expert mode, you get this, which is like advanced uh, Wisp in a bottle. So you can see it's just this little eye thing that follows you around and gives you light. Yeah, that's pretty much it, but it does give a lot of light, and yeah, that's pretty much it, but it is overall the most useful item in expert mode. So yeah, guys, those are the items in expert mode. I'm missing two or three of them, but those are really bad ones, so it doesn't even matter. Uh, one thing I will say, though, is I won't be bringing these into our normal world. I'm going to leave these here. I'm not bringing expert mode stuff into our normal world because... If one day that I decide, if one day I decide to do an expert mode playthrough, I don't want to have these expert mode items in my normal world. So I'm going to leave them here and cuz uh, most of them aren't even that interesting so it doesn't matter. But yeah, those are the expert mode items. Uh, you can kind of give like a little bit more of a world tour. I tried setting up an armor collection. Do fairly decent. I got a good bit of them and the trophies are kind of hard to get. I did get a bunch of the masks, just cool. Now, sadly, there aren't any expert mode bosses. It's kind of sad. I wish there they would have some of that, but they don't. But yeah, guys, um, I think that's going to be pretty much it for this episode. Once again, this is more of a kind of an update video. If I do any more videos, we'll actually get some stuff done, build some stuff, fight some stuff. But for now, guys, that's going to be pretty much it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like and a comment as it to my channel. And I will see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.